What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Tony D2R. Uh, check this out. This is how I woke up this morning. This is how I woke up this morning, man. It's your boy, Tony D2 Wild, checking in once again. Um, I'm about to go on a journey with you guys. I wanted to fly out to New York, um, go out there for a day, fly back home in the same day. We're going out to the SneakerCon headquarters where I want to check out how they authenticate sneakers, what goes on with the app, see where they just plan each and every one of their events, and get a in-depth look into just sneaker con in general we have a lot of content coming up with these guys in the future so they invited me out we're gonna go check them out and um yeah i'm not gonna hold you guys to it so see you in a few let go So guys, we just landed in the airport right now. I'm actually waiting on Alan to come out of his uh, airplane right now. I almost missed my flight. We'll talk about that later because it's wild and I'm a little dead right now. So we'll be leaving in a minute. So yeah guys, we're in the Uber right now. We'll actually be arriving in the office in about 20 minutes. Where we'll pull up and then kind of just check out the inside, seeing how the whole operations work. See, seeing everything about the SneakerCon and the app itself as long, along with like everything that goes into doing each and every event. So I'm looking forward to it. I actually got the key to the office to uh, be the first person walking in there this morning. And I need to find me some coffee too, cause I'm still dead, but We'll be there shortly. All right, guys, so I'm inside of one of the sneaker con offices right now as we speak. Tons of sneakers laying all around, boxes and boxes of everything, green screens. This is like a meeting room, a lot of different tables and computers going on in here. It seems like a very close niche pack of people that are all working together, which is really good so that there's no mistakes and not too many different hands going through the system. Everything's getting dealt with first come, first serve, right, you know, direct connection. Over here, it seems like we got some like fakes over here. I just see off the rip. We will see all this stuff with somebody who's gonna come here shortly and kind of, you know, show us everything. But yeah, that's everything I'm seeing. Seems like there's like some fakes over there. And they doing some videos over here. And it seems like right here is a product photo area. So this is one of their newer offices they have. And we're here on the off day. So we will get a nice introduction, but I wanted to show you everything beforehand. And you know, before we actually go in depth on everything. And what we do, what we practice doing is, for now at least, the, any order that comes in, we contact both the buyer and the seller. Mm -hmm. And if the buyer wants to view, FaceTime and view the shoe, yeah. we allow them to see the shoe, especially if it's used. Even if it's new, like they want to see it, we that option is there for them to do. All right, guys, so I got my man Marv right here who's gonna give us a tour of the whole entire, you know, studio, this whole entire office here in SneakerCon and the app, the store, the website, everything SneakerCon right here. So let's get straight into it. Yes, sir. Okay. All right, it's your boy Marv. You know, I'm here at SneakerCon all day, every day, content curator. You guys probably see me on the IG story at some of the events, but we're gonna walk, walk you through pretty much what we do every day here at the office. Uh, we got my man Gio, 
One of our What's up, guys? Gears. What's up? So we just got these packages in. I'm about to check them out. All these are from one seller, correct? Correct. These right here. Um, yeah. So based on the shoe, it's a Jim Red 12. So for 90 bucks. This is all going to one customer too, or? I assume it, it, it would, because he's been selling constantly to us. Oh, okay. To one specific um, buyer. Okay, it's yeah, nice packaging. Home Depot boxes. Size 8, Jim Rudd. Is this new condition, supposedly? or? He sells most of them used. Used, like, but pretty good condition. Yeah, very, 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 he cleaned them before you sent them, if anything. It's respectable. Yeah. So now you are you giving us like your your overall authentication right now? Like yeah. So what I'm looking for is I'm making sure the the pattern of the shoe is on point. Same goes for the stitching, the craftsmanship all over the shoe, the stitching. Sometimes the main key point will be the font of the size tag. It's all properly there. There's the spacing is correct. The font is correct. Normally on some fake pairs, the font will be a little thinner than usual, or there will be very minimal spacing around. And that the goes time. for a majority of all just fake shoes. Yeah, usually. correct. Mm -hmm. Are you you also Marv had mentioned earlier that you know, that you have a database on the system that you kind of like measure a lot of the tongues and the height of the shoes and stuff like that. Right. So sometimes when or all the time when we go to the sneaker con events, I will be measuring the shoe all around. So the dimensions of the shoe, such as the <laughs> length or the height from the tongue to the toe box just yeah. to make sure it's consistent throughout the same size eight if we was to measure the gym reds okay size eight. and behind these are just like fake shop gotten from the yeah it's just stuff that we yeah. confiscated from events and you know stuff that was sold on the app that we uh confiscated from uh the wow. sellers because i was looking at these earlier these bread ones right here are I mean, I, as bad as I want to say, amazing. The the leather quality, you can hold this real quick, Mark, so I can just mm -hmm. zoom in. Because we were talking about this earlier. And, I mean, I'm going to zoom in on this leather so they can see it. You see the toe box, too? Bend it down a little bit. Like, I have pairs retail. Very, very good quality. You can, Look at that. Look at that. Leather. There's no, like, widow's peaks or nothing. From the look, the shoe just looks straight authentic. This now. one pretty much almost passed, but we had to like do a more in-depth inspection upon the shoe. Let me get, yeah, all right. yeah, I mean that leather right there, it feels great. Yeah. The number one thing I noticed for both shoes though, was that sock taco sole on it. Yes. Which way, did you notice something else? Yeah, it's always, well, when these the, fakes that we come across. The blue? Yeah. It's usually supposed to be like gray or something? A lighter, lighter. A lighter blue? Yeah. Can you show how soft that was? Look, I mean, the tongue, the, the sole, how you just twisted it like, like that, like ones don't do that. Yeah. Ones don't do it that easily. Super flexible. Yeah. We have, yeah. Now there's another pair of those in the office. That's not the same one, right? That's the same that's one. Oh, that's the other, the other yeah, size? The other side of it. Yeah. Yep. This Presto looks crazy. Yeah, that's a grade eight right there. So they got a ton of these they collected. This is one they use to compare to a lot of shoes fake Yeezys, Prestos, and these are some of the shoes they actually cut in. I know they cut into this one on Kaiser channel, so maybe we can cut into one while we're here. We'll say that for a little later. Here's a yeah. fake pair we also confiscated at one of the sneaker con events. Wow. Yeah, I remember seeing, let me get this light so we can get some, hold on. That tongue is just droopy, saggy, like an old lady. Sorry. <laughs> 85, that thing doesn't even want to stand up. Stand up with attention, need some Viagra. <laughs> yeah, I seen one of these in London. Was this what y'all copied in London, or did y'all? You said it's it from London. No, you, no these were from London. Before, oh, okay. Somewhere else. Yeah, they got really good with those. They the toe box, the the colors will be a little bit faded, right? Yeah. And more pinker overall. And the midsole paint. Yeah. Like these are two right? different sizes, two different fakes, two different oh, color tones. Yeah, just this... <sighs> you can tell. Wow. Yeah, too faded. You see, it's very, very off. The reason why they did it like this, they wanted to make it look like they were old. Yeah. And that's they made it faded, and it just didn't work out. We're not that retarded. Exactly. Jordan 8 DBs, which they've done pretty well on, but um, it's just still things that people know or think about them. But those, I remember, like, a lot of people were getting bamboozled. 
Yeah, everything looks nice on this one except for that toe box is like really yeah. fat, like it pops out. You can see the space in between these numbers. Yeah, are also yeah. So yeah, it's a lot of them to compare to, but these are good to go. Yeah. So they good. get the check. They get the the this right. They get this right here. Correct. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open our uh, database. App, yeah. And I've actually seen. People are one of the things I'm guessing. There would be no way for somebody to hack this database. No. Like that's what I'm saying. Like there's no way for somebody, somebody to, if somebody else made this same chip, they could make they could replicate the same chip and everything, but they would not be able to make it scan into this system, right? Correct. Yep. That's where that's where the the line of everything is because they can easily make something that looks like this, but the chip would not be able to work on the app. Yeah, it's, basically, it's it'd be like a dummy chip, basically. Yeah. So it looked like it, but it, when you put it into the yeah, phone, it sure. wouldn't, it wouldn't do it. That's what, I'm, that's what I. So thought. As you can see, I already entered the information of the shoe, size eight, condition. The condition is used. I authenticate it, and I'll scan it into our database. And this is the back end. This is like a back end app. Yeah. Now okay. it's finalized. So now this specific shoe size and condition is in our system. So now I get to um, pretty much just put it on the shoe. Now let them see this part because. Some people think they can take it off. So like right now you could take it off. Right now you could take this off. You can yes. How do you know people don't put on the this? How do you know that somebody gets this shoe and they say, oh, I don't want this. Let me take this tag off and put it on a fake gym red twelve. Well, I'm gonna show you now what's going on here because a lot of people just don't understand that, which is totally you know, I understand. So this is our lock that we just. Pretty much twisted it in there. There you go. And boom. Now you can't take it. You, it's not coming off. Look. You, can you just try? Even though I know you can't. Yeah, you, you, really, you really can't. There's no way. But it's pretty tight in there. There's no way yeah. you can take it out. And, it, and I was at the house when I did it. The only way you can do it is by pulling this hard. But what happens is all this yeah, it breaks. breaks. Yeah. And Once that breaks, that voids the authentication of the shoe. So you have to get a re-authenticated by us at a sneaker con event or send it to us to the uh, headquarters. All right. So now for those who might not know our sneaker con app, once you open it, this is the, you go yeah. to the top right icon and you'll scan the shoe. Yep. And this is what will tell you if this item was already authenticated by, by us. Legit. So there you go. All right. So over here, it's pretty much where we take all of our photos. Um, so whenever we get brand new shoes in or we bring a brand new shoe from our collection, you know, we come here, you know, to take the, take the flux of our shoes and, you know, get onto the database. All right. So any like shoes recently you've done here? Um, most recent shoes we did, I uh, did a couple of uh, Nike SBs. We did the skunks. We did the, okay, uh, that was, uh, yeah, I did see that trending in recent mm -hmm. on the app. We did the, uh, Prestos, the new ones, the, the hot pink ones. So. Every time we get a new shoe in, you know, we try to get you guys the best photos possible. All right, cool, cool. So we're taking the Presto to its cemetery at this moment? Yeah, RIP to these vibes. Yep. Oh, man. Is it gonna, is the, chop, the chopping is gonna go down right here, right? Okay, okay. So we're gonna set that up. We'll see you guys in a few. All right, so we can't have you guys wearing these fake pretzels. That's a no-no. We only rock shoes the authenticator way, the white way, the legit way. So right now, we're just going to cut up these shoes. Sorry, guys. All right, Pete. That little it's boy crazy. tough. He ain't giving up. Nah, he's not giving up. <laughs> nah, we're out of fight. Uh, he's done now. He's done now. That boy coming clean. Call me Butcher Ball. Let's go up a little bit on it. Oh, that's your finished product right there. It's a lot of... Uh, it's a sad moment right yeah, now. Yeah, Prestos have a lot of rubber. Yeah. A lot of uh, cushioning in there. Yeah, well, Festos, that is. Festos. <laughs> air, air, air unit. Well, fair unit. 
<laughs> I didn't know they had a uh, that had they had an air unit in it though. It's pretty yeah. Good. But everything in Nike Air has air unit in it. Yep. These are very firm though. Was these the toughest ones you guys done? I mean, they seem like they put up a fire. They usually kind of can stop sometimes. Uh, I mean, for the for the threes, it was a little tough. But I mean, I would say this one right here definitely put up a good fight. The Maybe the I think the material clean. though, the material right, like that knitting. Like yeah. It, it got caught up definitely in that knitting. Caught up in there a little bit. But the KDs were also a pretty easy, easy cut also. Well, here you go. Here you have it, guys. Get a little close up of that. You got the size tag. <laughs> What's left of it? Got the insole. Size nine. So yeah, guys, we just chopped that up. I'm sorry if a lot of you guys hurt out there, but it's better that they're like that. And don't worry, we'll give away some real shoes to some people out there in the future for chopping that one up, trust me. But they were gonna actually unbox some more used pairs of shoes right now because really like a lot of the used pairs have been selling on the app. Cause you can sell used and new on the app, so. That's something that's a quite, you know, a plus. And I'm gonna be loading up more and more of my stickers. I actually sold my Jordan 7 Pure Platinums off the app accidentally. I just put them up there, forgot all about it, and somebody bought them. And it's seamless. So are you are you right now, uh, you, you, you're, you're, that's the 12, right? Yeah, the size. So now you're putting it on the label to ship to the person that bought yeah, so, them, right? Yeah, they're going out today. You know, once we oh. get them in the office, once we get them in the office, we try to authenticate them ASAP, and we try to ship them out the same day. That way you guys get your shoes right away. So when was this order initially purchased, if you don't mind me asking? Let's just kind of figure out oh, what we're at day-wise, and let's get it. Today is the 15th. It was the 12th. So he ordered on the yeah. 12th. Not bad. So that's not bad at all, and you'll get this out today, so he'll get it most likely Wednesday. So Wednesday or Thursday. At the so what is this, or another one? Another one from the same seller. I'm pretty sure it might be a Jordan 12. It's probably like his 10th shoe piece of this. Yeah. All size eight usually too. His personal size, I would assume. DS Super ones? Clean. No, these are uh, Damn, used, but very clean, as you can see, kept clean. He's a, good, he's a look at them joints, man. He's a good guy. Keeps his joints clean, man. Yeah. Do y'all need to learn less? What's this guy's first name? I don't want to put his own. <laughs> Shout out to Kevin. 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 All right, Kevin, if you're watching this, comment down below. 90 bucks. 90 bucks on the hat. What it. was the retail on this shoe originally? 190? 190. Yeah. And he's selling these... Very lightly worn shoes for 90 bucks. I mean, there's steals on the app. You know, you guys don't got to spend a fortune to get good kicks. And it's a clean color overall. I just got too many shoes. Sometimes I got to pick and choose, you feel me? But for 90 bucks, under $100, can't complain. All right, so right now, um, you know, we got these Jordan 12 lows right here. These joints sold for, what, what was that, 60 bucks? 68 60 bucks. bucks? So we're going to call the buyer right now and confirm the condition of the shoe. And... Let's see if he wants them. He bought and they were slightly used, basically? Yeah. Y'all do this with every customer, too? Every customer. They've done it with me. I've been, fa they FaceTimed me and showed me my shoes two times already, so. He's calling right now to see. This one so didn't pick didn't up? didn't pick up. So normally what we do is we try to provide as specific images as we can, or even go a FaceTime them, or just FaceTime them just so they can see the condition of the shoe, because sometimes the seller might um, not provide good images, the lighting could be bad, so we try to give them as specific detailed images as we can so they can see. And then if they feel comfortable with the purchase, then we'll continue with the transaction. All right, yeah. so we'll, just let me know if you get a hold of someone else, I'll come back and check it out. Right. Since he didn't pick up, so, or just call him back or whatever, let me know. So we're going live right now on the SneakerCon IG, and uh, we're, we're going live, live. we're live. What's we're good, live everybody? Now. What's going what on? up, everybody? What's going on, yo? We got a special guest today. Special guest. What's going on? I don't on? know. He's gonna introduce himself. Yes, sir. Tony don't YouTube know. Wild checking in once again. Tony Digital bringing back a IG live visual. You already know we in the SneakerCon headquarters right now yes, with sir. some impressive kicks. Yeah. Yeah, we All appreciate right. everybody uh, for coming out this weekend for SneakerCon Toronto. Very good event. Very good show out. So. Definitely appreciate it. ATL all you guys. in two weeks. Hometown. ATL. His ATL. Hometown. Yes. I better show up. 27th, 28th. Exactly. Get this nice hoodie there. Just know. And we'll be having this from Sample Industries as well on yes, deck. Sir, so. sir. So, sure. 
We got something on the live, you know, cop a drop. Okay. So we're going to start off with you. DJ Skyler in the, Skyler oh, in the building. Oh, my. DJ in the building. That's four votes. Press those five votes. Keep the votes coming. Five to one right now. Six to one. Oh, yeah. Don't don't, don't vote for me. Just for me. Vote for the shoe. Off white. <laughs> off white. Nah, 700. Vote. That's eight to two. <laughs> off white. Nine to two. Oh, man. 10 to 2, 11 to 2, it's over. It's pretty much over. All right, guys, so I am now back at the airport on my way back home. One quick day maneuver, man. In and out of New York like that. But it was really dope. I'm going to go ahead, though, put this camera down and just get my ass back home. And we will talk there, okay? See you soon. So yeah, guys, I know this is bothering me. Let me take this out. I don't wear my hair like this. I, I just couldn't help it, you know what I'm saying? But uh, yeah, man, it was a good time in New York. You know, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We have a lot of stuff headed, you know, but whoa, head. A lot of things headed your way for you guys in the content department. I'm looking forward to it. If you have any questions, anything, feel free to comment down below in the comment section. Hit that like button and subscribe and turn on post notifications. Follow me over on Twitter and Instagram. And let me tell you one reason why I missed my flight. I woke up at 4.15 thinking I was gonna get to the airport, you know, by at least five o'clock, you know, and what happened was I woke up at 4.15. It took the Uber 20 minutes to get to my house. And it took me basically about almost an hour, like 40 minutes, 50 minutes to get to the airport. Cause he took me to the international airport, so the domesticated terminal. Uh, terminal. Once he took me there, I got in, the security line was wrapped around like crazy. Um, luckily I had clear, and clear got me straight through in time. I got through, still was pushing it. Basically I got on the train, it took about eight minutes to get on that. When I got off the, when I got off the train, it was six o'clock and the doors closed to my gate at 607 and my gate was all the way down and I took a, I was running nigga I was breathing like crazy like like you know I'm not, I gotta get I know like I'm happy I'm on this diet and going to the gym type shit and finally made it to the gate at 605 and I was lucky I was lucky so yeah guys if you enjoyed this video make sure you slap a like comment down below and I will see you guys on the next video I appreciate all the love and support thank you for everything it's your boy 20D2Wild checking in Checking out.